GitHub is an excellent repository for Jupyter Notebooks because it displays the rendered notebooks, which is very helpful. Here we can see four very different examples of hybrid packages. Recall that as part of our pink framework, we extended Python packages to include this new kind of package, um, one that can contain both hardware and software design elements. So on the far left, the first example is a hardware accelerated quantized neural network. Beside it is a motor control example implemented in hardware. Uh, this is the Park Clark motor control algorithm. The third example is part of a bigger uh, deep learning library. It's a hardware accelerated image resizer used um, to pre-process images for, for training and inference. And the final example is an open CV filter also implemented in hardware. We're going to look more closely at the image resizer in just a moment. Uh, but first we would have to clone the repo to our pink Z2 development board. And we can do this with just a single pip install command. And this will bring down the design, both the hardware and software elements onto our target development board. In this slide, we look in more detail at what happens when we start to use the resizer package that we just downloaded from GitHub. Uh, we begin with JupyterLab running on the ARM microprocessor, as we saw in the earlier demo. Now, note that at this point, the programmable logic is uh, unconfigured. So we begin by opening the uh, notebook for the resizer. Um, and then we proceed to create an instance of the overlay class parameterized with the resizer bitstream that we want to load into the programmable logic. Once this is done, we now have the hardware design in the FPGA. And of course, we can run the notebook and have it control both software and hardware. There are, of course, more details, but these are the main concepts and are all that a Python developer or data scientist needs to know to start using hybrid packages on programmable platforms. In this slide, we show two sections of the image resizer notebook. On the left-hand side is the section of the notebook that shows image resizing done purely in software. While on the right-hand side, the section of the notebook there shows that hardware accelerated uh, resizing. Both sections show the initial image and the image after it has been resized. The software-only resizer uses the well-known Python image library, uh, PIL. In the right-hand section, we can see a block diagram of the programmable platform design. The hardware consists primarily of an image resizer block, some buffers, and a DMA unit, a direct memory access unit, to move data efficiently between DRAM and the programmable logic. Uh, 